know I'm all about that tech news, Dennis. I, I'm, so, I'm so into it. GDPR is in effect. All of our email inboxes have been destroyed, but there are some unforeseen upsides to the EU's privacy protecting regulation. Number one, we've seen the arrival of some truly crispy deep fried memes. And number two, websites actually load faster. Marcel Freinbeekler, a web dev from Austria, did some speed tests loading the US and European versions of websites. Because companies have had to disable things like ads and user trackers to comply with the new rules, their sites are much smaller in size, leading to massive decreases in loading time on the EU site versus the US version by as much as 40 seconds. Freinbeekler also tested with an ad blocker enabled and the EU version was still significantly faster. Props to lulls on the forum for bringing this story to your attention because I couldn't find many articles talking about it. The internet could be so fast without all these trackers clogging up the tubes. And then you'd also save money from not paying internet tube uncloggers. The high-end ones are pricey. Last week, the FBI seized control of a server used by Fancy Bear. Fancy Bear? the same hacking group responsible for attacks during the 2016 US election. The server is a key part of a piece of malware created by the group called VPN Filter. Although the seizure prevents VPN Filter from executing stage two and three of its objectives, it could still do some damage, including stealing credentials and disabling the more than 500,000 routers and NAS servers that it's infiltrated. So the FBI recommends that everyone reboot their router as this will disrupt the malware. So reboot your router, do it now. Guy, you're lazy, you're not gonna do it right now. You should though, maybe later. And Lenovo is teasing its Z5 phone, which is apparently going to have some potentially reality-defying specs. On Chinese social site Weibo, Vice President Chan Cheng posted that the phone will have a 95% screen to body ratio. Some renders have shown an all-screen phone, which would require the camera to be under the screen somehow. The Z5 will apparently also have a 45-day standby time, which is ludicrous by today's standards, and come with four terabytes of internal storage. That last one has got to be a mistranslation, but we'll find out the real details on June 5th when Lenovo officially unveils the phone. And if these specs are true, changes the technological landscape forever. It's time for Quick Bits, brought to you today by TechLinked. It's a YouTube channel. It puts out Central Parks and Nano Carbon Nanotubers every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday unless something terrible happens. And it's got t-shirts, that's right. You could bring the love of tech news to everyone who happens to glance your way and take note of your bomb ass apparel. So click the link in the description to get yours. And if you think they're stupid, let us know in the comments what you would be interested in. <sighs> we just wanna make you happy. A company called Spectrum is developing spinning sensors that would stop drone blades if an object was detected in their path. The sooner we'll get these in the wild, the less we'll have to worry about chopping off our precious fingies. I like my fingies. Please don't chop off my fingies. Graphene, also known as the blessed material from which carbon nanotubes are made, just got closer to actually being a replacement for silicon in chips as researchers developed a band gap into it without making it lose its essential properties. You don't wanna lose those, they sound important. Elon Musk ain't the only rich guy gunning for space. Amazon boss Jeff Bezos says his Blue Origin company is working with NASA and the European Space Agency to build a settlement on the moon. Seems like a prime setup for a Mars moon war between Musk and Bezos. Is it wrong that I want that? Ah, I'm so bad. You know what's also bad? Selling people audio files and telling them that listening to them will cure infections like Ebola and malaria. That's what a California doctor has been doing, claiming they heal based on homeopathic principles. He might have maimed Lucio a little too much. If you know, that's an Overwatch joke. And researchers from Carnegie Mellon have developed a material that repairs itself by creating new electrical connections and could be used to create soft, stretchable circuitry. If only Terminator didn't exist. We could embrace this news wholesomely, but we can't. It's just scary now. Look what you did, James Cameron, you jerk. That's it for TechLink. Subscribe for more tech and gaming news. Don't subscribe if you hate that stuff. But if you do hate it, it's kind of weird that you made it all the way to this part of the video. Be honest with yourself, man. Or, or woman. Pursue your passions. That's what I'm gonna do, because my passion right now is lunch. So, see you later.